When my wife was diagnosed with cancer again for the second time, this time stage four cancer, it was about uh, June 2015. And almost exactly two years ago, I sent an email, Dear Tatum and Sheila, people that I had met uh, in the music industry, but they were doing different jobs back then, but I had heard from someone that I should call them or reach out to them. So I sent an email and I, I told them that Joey had been diagnosed with stage four cancer. And the doctors had found a, a good sized tumor and they wanted to do chemo and radiation and surgery. And, um, and we had found out about another place in Chicago that, that Joey wanted to go to, where they, they not only treated um, those problems the normal way, but they also used a lot of integrative diet and all sorts of things to help and faith, which was important to us. The problem was that uh, we were in Blue Cross, Blue Shield at the time, and this is in my email that I came across this morning, and it was out of network. They had just been sold to another company called United that is not in their network. The, the sale happens on June 30th. Joey's surgery would be a, a week or so later. We had a problem. We were going to have to get medical treatment somewhere that we didn't want it. So I reached out to them and Tatum called me and they jumped into our lives. Needless to say, we were in Chicago a few days later. They, they found out what the problem was and fixed it like it was no problem at all. My wife had the treatment that she wanted and uh, they stayed part of our lives, helping us navigate all of those things uh, that went on for the next few months. And it was a blessing because if you, if you don't make it through cancer, or if you do, you, you at least would like to feel good about the choices you make. And my wife did feel good about the options that she had and that she got to go where she wanted to go. The following spring, which is March of 2016, when Joey passed away, we had to come home, my little girl and I, who's three now, and uh, start our lives back here in Nashville. But what was waiting on me was a huge stack of medical bills. Now, I'm a fairly good songwriter. I can, I can make my way through uh, word puzzles fairly easily in songwriting from time to time, but I could not navigate the barrage of medical bills that were coming in, what is covered, what is not covered, what should be covered and isn't being covered. And so I reached out to them again. And Kimberly said, take some pictures, send them to me, or just bring it in and drop it off. And I brought everything and they helped me through it. They turned something that was incredibly difficult and complicated into something very simple. And I needed that help so much because it's the last thing I wanted to have to deal with. They've continued to help me all through this time. And um, every time I have an issue, every time I have a bill that I don't understand, like all of these that I brought in to give it to them today, <laughs> they fix it. Honestly, I don't have any idea what Music Health Alliance is. I only know what they have done for me and for my family. And they are like family to me because my wife would do all of these things. She was brilliant, but I do not have her help. And they stepped in like a family member and they continue to stay with me and they have never asked for anything, nothing. I have no idea what their business plan is. <laughs> but they asked me to come today and share and I, I'm glad to be here. When I moved to Nashville in 1995, I had two older daughters and uh, I came here to be a songwriter and I got a deal writing songs for just a little bit of money and I didn't have insurance. And they were six and eight at the time and I didn't have insurance for five years or more because I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know how to get it. I was afraid of it. I was afraid to go from here to there. I knew I couldn't afford it. And so we had an insurance plan. We were not allowed to get sick. Thankfully, we didn't at least not really sick, and we were blessed, but there are a lot of people who do not have the same, can't tell the same story. I wish that I had known them or had an option like that where I could go in and sit and talk to someone and be a little embarrassed and say, you know, I don't have insurance for my family, 
is there any way to get it in a way that I could afford it? And they probably would have, they would have taken all that load off of me and helped me back then. So anyway, I, I do want to tell, I, I think this is a great idea, Rodney. It's a really, really great idea. Um, and I hope lots of people help. I, on a personal note, I have been um, thinking about playing music, but I haven't really played any music in a couple of years, and I've been thinking about it a lot. And uh, um, a lot. And even all the friends around me, we, we talk about it. I have a concert hall at my house across my driveway that's empty, and it's been empty. But I have been thinking about doing some concerts uh, September 8th and 9th, which is my wife's birthday weekend. Um, not because I need to, or I just feel a responsibility like I should. I should get on stage and see what's there, what's, what's in store. What would I say? What would I sing if I were there by myself? But the problem is, is I haven't had a real good reason till now. So for me, I would like to go ahead and just do uh, some shows. And uh, for me, it'll be good because I'll learn why I'm supposed to be there and what the future might hold. I don't need to get 5%. You could just have whatever I make. I would be glad to bless you in just a little way compared to how you blessed me. Thank you all for having me. Here.